Alrighty, so welcome to the day of the week where I take something totally crazy and analyze it beyond belief. For those of you that are new, this is our conspiracy theory series, and for those of you that join us every Monday, welcome to a new one. So today's conspiracy theory is Cedar Point or Cedar Creek Mine Ride Removal. Yes, I know, lots of these are so unbelievable. Why are you even discussing this? This isn't going to happen. Why are you creating a video on it? Well, it's called a conspiracy theory. So I search the web for things enthusiasts say, discuss, or talk about, and dive into the whole situation and open a discussion on both sides of the argument while I try to make a decision on whether I think this has any possibility or not. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So the question is, Will Cedar Creek Mine Ride be removed and replaced by a better coaster? I'm going to be honest. This is one of the most not-so-crazy conspiracy theories to date. Yes, I may have just triggered a bunch of you, but hear me out on this one. Like, honestly, hear me out. So, there have been teasers popping up at the point for months now. And one final one before the season ends has shown up and caused quite the stir. In fact, this picture of the poster has been sent to me a total of about 20 times now. That's fantastic, and that's why this was quickly bumped up to today's video. So, one of the most important things that I've noticed on this is it says, Don't put off until tomorrow what others can do for you now. So that's a very interesting quote. Um, that quote, in my opinion, honestly points towards something like, don't put off removing a ride tomorrow, what someone can do for you today. And honestly, Cedar Creek Mine Ride is pictured in the background there with an upgraded station and honestly what looks like almost like a wooden coaster. I mean, it could just be an artist rendering of Cedar Creek Mine Ride itself. Who knows? But it honestly brought me um, or got me thinking. It honestly got me thinking what could be going on. So one could argue it's too iconic of an attraction to remove. One could also argue it's kind of become a waste of space and that back part of the park holds a massive amount of potential. Like, honestly, if you look at it, it's, it's a very massive plot of land. Potential, you ask? Well, yes, let's have a look. So there appears to be a lore taking place in the back portion of the park that puts a battle between two groups against each other as they fight for control of the town. This sets a beautiful setting for another coaster to enter that portion of the park. For those that think Magnum is being removed, it's time to have a seat in row six and grab your popcorn because I'm about to present some interesting theories about that back portion of the park that may have you fangirling over Magnum staying. Are you still here? How wonderful. Now it's time to go over what I think are the two most likely upgrades to Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Comment down below what you guys think as you follow along, and trust me, just hear me out. When I made the Magnum removal video, I strongly disagreed with its removal, and I honestly wasn't expecting it to be so split on whether it should be removed or not. Well, hopefully I can show you in today's conspiracy theory that Magnum isn't and shouldn't even be thought about being removed yet. Option one, in my opinion, again, my opinion, is a world record infinity coaster that breaks the inversion record, takes you into an immersive storyline, and is surrounded by an absolutely amazing themed area. You kind of see this with something like the Smiler. So the Smiler is kind of immersive and themed. It's, it's themed in a different way where one wouldn't necessarily think it's immersive and themed, but it is. Are your jaws dropped yet? No? Okay, well, let's say this Beauregard's way of getting back at Steel Vengeance and is opening a mining operation is the setting for a new coaster. Tight twists, turns, and inversions abound. So one could argue that this Infinity Coaster would be a perfect fit for Cedar Point. In fact, this is one of my favorite options. An Infinity Coaster with the most inversions very immersive theming, a storyline, and honestly, I think they've been hinting at the Sear Creek Mining Company, I think is what it's called, coming to town. It would be perfect. You have Maverick right beside you. 
And then right across from Maverick would be this new Infinity Coaster or the second model I'm about to present as kind of like a counter towards Steel Vengeance. And then who knows what that team will come up with down the road. Um, but right now, there's so much potential in that area. And I honestly think Cedar Creek Mine Ride is the best option to be removed for some world record coaster, especially something like the Infinity Coaster that would smash the Smilers records and other most inversion record coasters. Cedar Point apparently did say they would outdo Steel Vengeance for their 150th anniversary. And yes, to enthusiasts, this will be nearly impossible. Well, general public wise, this is very possible and in two forms I could see this taking place. Now, option one, as I said, was my absolute favorite, but I strongly feel the second, second option will greatly win a lot of you over. So Steel Vengeance took a massive wooden coaster and turned it into an absolutely amazing hybrid coaster, arguably the world's best coaster. That's amazing and all, but it greatly created this void at the point, a wooden coaster void. This is where things get tricky. Breaking records and building the best of the best on the wooden coaster market is going to be tricky. However, if there was a park to take the records and build the best, it would be Cedar Point. So you have Holiday World and Great Adventure to just name a few to beat. How could Cedar Fair top these wooden coasters? Well, it appears many people ride wooden coasters for ejector airtime and tight turns. People honestly like length as well when it comes to wooden coasters. So if Cedar Fair were to build a wooden coaster, I honestly think they may go for length, most airtime, and theming combined with a list of 10 other records the world doesn't even know exist. <laughs> um, so now that I presented kind of what I think could be happening for 2020 in my two options, what do you honestly think about 2020 at Cedar Point? Comment down below what you think, um, as I honestly have no idea. I'm just presenting what I think is um, the most likely. And yes, I get it's a bit out there. But with Maverick being right across from uh, Cedar Creek Mine Ride and Cedar Creek Mine Ride's location and setting in that same area, and we know Beauregard is is got a vengeance for Steel Vengeance now. Um, so maybe we'll get Wooden Vengeance, uh, <laughs> Wooden Vengeance up at Cedar Point. But who knows? I know a lot of you honestly really want to see a wooden coaster at Cedar Point, and it's definitely very possible. There's many records they could go after. Length is a tricky one, um, and uh, to top something like uh, El Toro at Great Adventure, that's going to be very difficult too. And then you have a lot of fan favorites at Holiday World. Those are going to be tough to beat too. So a wooden coaster, in my opinion, is more tricky to beat world records on. Um, but we do know that Cedar Fair is most likely going to be breaking records on whatever they build in 2020 for the 150th anniversary. So hopefully you guys really enjoyed today's conspiracy theory video. Every Monday there will be a video for our conspiracy theory series. Don't forget to share this for others to join in and discuss. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend and stay tuned for tomorrow as I have three park construction updates. Thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Have a good one. Bye. Alrighty, so this is where I ask for your guys' help. So the Conspiracy Theories videos are really taking off and they're extremely popular and I want to make them better. So comment down below what Conspiracy Theory at your theme park or amusement park or home park, whatever it is, or, a th you know, in a theme park or an amusement park you know, exists and you want me to cover so again comment down below what conspiracy theory you would like to see me cover in a future video down below and who knows maybe we could see it in one of our future videos anyways guys i'm really happy you guys are enjoying these uh the these series i've been doing on conspiracy theories and uh yes i definitely want your input so comment down below what you guys think and stay tuned for some more conspiracy theories have a good one guys bye